Is someone in the house? Oh my god. <gasps> I just see someone in the back. <gasps> oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. YouTube, today we're playing Fears to Fathom. Ooh. Ah! Let's get into the game. Wait, before we start the game, I should probably switch. Yeah. Fears to Fathom is probably one of my favorite scary games all time, chat. We're finally playing this. This is episode three of Fears to Fathom. We played one and two. If you would like to watch those, link is in the description. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Ah. I'm doing YouTube intros. I'm trying my best. It's so hard. My brain hurts. Here's the Fathom episode three. My name is Noah. How you doing? Don't touch me or I'm so I'm a 28 year old man with little tiny legs that live in the Midwest. I hope my story can be a lesson. This happened to me when I was 18. I remember this incident like it was yesterday as the trauma dictated a major part of my life. For a little background, my dad was a realtor and almost always became friends with his clients. One day he came home and pitched me a small job offer for the weekend. One of his clients was going away for a few days and needed someone to, you know, just watch over the house and shit. And I said, why not? How much money you paying? The man worked as a COO at the local media company. Dad told me the man would pay me $100 and I said, you better make it 120. I ain't no cheap sitter. I keep that motherfucker on lock. I accepted the offer though, cause that motherfucker, he threw in a Snickers, an extra Snickers bar. I was hungry. So I took the hundred and a Snickers. Besides, I thought I could use the time to get my schoolwork done. My dad drove me to the house. Where am I? Oh, where are we starting? Oh. We in a laundromat? Some of y'all need to go here, chat. <laughs> you smell. Okay, can't exit through there. Hello? Oh, I love the smell of detergent. It's so good. Where's my dad at? Oh. Employees only. Hello? Um. Damn. How much rent is? I don't know the motherfucking... Electricity bill is crazy. <gasps> what the fuck? Shift to sprint. Why am I sprinting? Is something behind me? I'm just high. That's what it is. I mean, I smoked a little bit of that weed. I took that hundred dollars. I already ate my motherfucking Snickers. Ate all that. <laughs> oh, who's that? Hello? Hi, how you doing? Bleach? What? Where did you put it? What is this place? Where's the bleach? I need bleach. What even is this place? Who are you? I said I need bleach. Who are you raising your voice at? Oh, Noah? Noah? Nap time's over. We're here. We're here. You said you could do this. Wake up now. Wake up, Noah. No, what? I'm waking up. Damn, can I get the crusties out my motherfucking eyes? Shit. I can't enjoy a motherfucking nap without my dad over here fucking nudging me awake. No, wake up. You still think you could do this? First of all, father, get a shape up. Your haircut looks atrocious. You look disgusting. Ugh. That's why fucking mom left us. Roy called and said the key should be under the fake rock. Got it. He said it's in the backyard. And like I said, keep the doors locked and don't open the door for anyone. Bro, I heard you the first time. Okay, now get your ass to work. That's why mom left you and your receding hairline look fucked up. Get out the car quick before he locks the door. Yeah, fuck out of here. That old little fucking... I don't know what the fuck, that Peter Griffin ass car. Fuck out of here. You're a terrible father. I wish you were a deadbeat. Get out of my life. My name is Noah, dude. Definitely sound like I talk back to my parents. The keys in the backyard. Oh. How do I get to the backyard? This way? The ambiance is kind of scary. I'm not going to lie to you. What's up with the 
scary shit going on right now. Hello? Motherfucker, someone's in the kitchen. Not that kitchen. I'm talking about like in real life kitchen. Someone over here making a, a biscuit. What is that? Is that the rock? Yo, they couldn't be specific. Like there's mosquitoes out here. Over here getting bit up. Is it a doggy? Yeah, doggy. Oh, doggy. Okay. I don't think that motherfucker friendly. Oh, this one. Watching you, little puppy. Damn, what's that? Is that motherfucker watching a movie in here? He left the TV on? Why is it so... Vroom, vroom, vroom. Close the door. This is a harmonica chat. Oh, damn. They got the green screen, bitch. Who am I? Whose house is this? Dashies? I really had to pee. Where the fuck is the bathroom at? I'm going to piss myself. Where's the bathroom at? I realized the house was way bigger than ours. Wow. Ooh, close that. Nope. There we go. Yes. Go ahead, P. Damn, I can't aim. I'm getting my shit yellow too. That is disgusting. I need to drink more water. Wash my hands. No, we're not washing hands. Okay. <gasps> Text. Escape to read message. Thank you for taking up the job, kid. I really appreciate you doing this. I'm sorry I had to leave early. Mr. Carson? I'm gonna need more than a hundred. Mr. Carson. My bad. It's Roy. Got this contact from Walter. Work is really getting the best of me. Oh, no problem, Mr. Carson. My pleasure, really. Ha ha ha. He's my dad. Okay, cool. I wouldn't have asked for anyone if it wasn't for Zeke. Zeke? You're a lifesaver. Speaking of him, I want to remind you it's, it's his dinner time. If you could get him his dog food. Oh, it's it's in the basement. Yeah, 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 got you. Zeke. I'm gonna get you some food, little puppy doggy. Oh, fuck. We got a light down here? The basement was a little too dark. Oh, my God. Nope. I'm good. Mr. Carson. You got me fucked up. Almost forgot. I apologize for those lights in the basement. You can grab the flashlight in the storage room upstairs. Okay, bet. F to use. On off. On off. What is this flashing? This ain't flashing shit. Throw that. Get the fuck out my goddamn weak ass flashlight. That's so disrespectful. The dog could starve. I'm not going out there to feed him. I can't see a thing. This ain't flashing nothing. Where does he keep dog food at? Oh, this is dog food. I got it. I thought there were paint cans. Oh my God. It's so embarrassing. Come here, doggy. Close that. Ooh, this got so loud. Doggy. You hungry? Take it, bitch. Okay. Good puppy. Good puppy. You sleeping? Had to open a can. Oh my god. Open that. Yup. That bullshit out of here. Puppy. Puppy. I don't like dogs. <gasps> Why's the music going? Don't move. Take it. There you go. Eat the doggy. Eat. Good puppy. It's a nice dog. Hey kid, heard from Walter your computer whiz, huh? I have a favor to ask. My computer has been acting weird lately and my whole security system is tied to it. Burn. I like that. Now I feel safe. 
Where's the computer? This way? Where does he keep his computer at? Laundry room. Okay. Ooh, this is so creepy. I hate this. Mr. Carson's office looked like a good spot I could sit down to work. No, the fuck it doesn't. Sit down and get diddled. Someone gonna touch me. We're in. What we got? Egg.exe. Guess the flag. Recycle bin. CD burner. Oh, he getting locked up. You can't see. Look at him. Doing illegal shit, Mr. Carson. That's where you're getting your money from, huh? Start. I can't go into his files. Search. Free trial. Limited period. Your child catch colds. Your computer catches viruses. Get full protection. Definitely got to get that antivirus chat. I'm protecting him. Ooh. Security risk. Trojan. Risk high. Infestations. Remove threat. I told you he had a Trojan. He is on them naughty websites. I'll be on them too sometimes, Mr. Carson. <laughs> Done. Nice. Close. Whoa. Creepy. Super creepy. It's done. It was just some Trojan. I'd recommend you only download software from trusted websites. Tell that to my kid, but thanks. I'll try your kid. He ain't here with me, right, Mr. Carson? Evelyn Cooper. Who's that? Just had the weirdest dream ever. Oh, what was it about? Weird reminds me of cooking with Jeffrey on channel 10 last night. By the way, rerun must be on right now. Wait, that place got a TV? Ah, uh, hold on. Oh, bitch, we gotta watch TV. I don't like this at all. TV. Hello. Welcome to cooking with Jeffrey. I'm Jeffrey. Hey, Jeffrey. And today we are cooking cat food. I love cat food. I love making it's on. Are you watching cat food? What? What has Evelyn got me watching? Change the episode. What shampoo do you use? Uh, I don't know. Dethy gave it to me. I think I think Dethy said it was a dog shampoo. This is way better. I like this way more. I don't pay attention. Also, I think you should get the groceries before it gets too dark outside. There's some cash in my nightstand. What does he want me to buy? Ranch, jelly, chocolate spread, milk, eggs, garden pea. What are you going to... What type of grocery list? Evelyn, I promise you, no one's missing the best part of that show. Where the money at? Ooh, I got some money. Should go nut on his bed. For your trouble, get something for yourself as well. It's on the house. Oh, thank you, dude. Motherfucker gave me a $20 bill like I could get something. Bro, I'm going to have to come out of pocket to get those peas. You can take Alex's bike. It's outside in the garage. I don't got Google Maps. Where am I going? Fuck it. Come on. <sighs> My legs hurt. <laughs> My legs hurt. I don't want to do that no more. I should have called an Uber. How you doing, sir? You wouldn't believe this, man. I'm house sitting. I'm house sitting. I just had to fucking do goddamn triathlon. I don't know what that was. I'm so tired. Do you have any like? Oh, <laughs> I think I see what I want. Excuse me, miss. How you doing? <laughs> hey, son. Do you work here? No, I don't. Huh? Okay, son. Why? My son likes mustard. I came here looking for it, but I can't find it for the life of me. Do you know where it is? Hold on. Let me get it for you. Oh, how nasty. Of course. I got you right now. Yo, where the mustard? I'm trying to fuck. This is W Riz. This is W Riz. Is the mustard not here? Excuse me. Excuse me. Where's the bitch go? Excuse me here. How you doing, baby girl? 
Thank you, son. No problem. I need ranch strawberry jelly. Excuse you, rude ass. Strawberry jelly, ranch, milk, and egg. Damn, he's thick. Can you stop humming like a fucking weirdo? Can I talk to you? Dot, dot, dot. That bitch is profiling me. Like, that's, that's how obvious y'all motherfuckers be. I'll be in a store and y'all just do, 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 just staring at the back of my, I'm not stealing anything, ma'am. I, I got $20 in my pocket. I'm not going to steal nothing. You're, you're really playing it off. Wow. You're so fucking natural. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're, yeah. Oh, look at you. So natural, right? Rude ass bitch. My fault. You stupid bitch. You kind of got nice lips. In the ass. Oh my God. Can I rob this motherfucker? I'm out this bitch. Oh. He caught me. Fine ass. I see you walking past me. I know what you're trying to do. <laughs> trying to entice me. <laughs> Baby girl, I'm all yours. Should I build this? Yes, please. Thanks for shopping at Nooks. You have a good one. Thank you. You too. Have a great one. <laughs> Wait, baby girl. I should ask for her number. Excuse me. Excuse me, miss. That was so rude. Oh my God. I got to do eight more miles with this shit. Uh huh. Damn. Bitch, I'm in the inner city. I got to drive all the way to the suburbs now. <laughs> My legs are. <sighs> Tired. I really hope a sexy, uh, super buff dominant uh, mommy Dommy doesn't come out and attack me. <laughs> really hope that doesn't happen. Oh man, it's so scary. I really, really hope that doesn't happen. A very sexy, thick thighed woman to squeeze me in between her legs doesn't pop out a bush or something. <laughs> we in this. What's up with the spooky ambiance, man? Oh, I think it's about a storm. I hear thunder. Go upstairs. I'm, I'm not trying to feel my algebra. My mom was on my ass the other day talking about something. You only get C's, like, bitch. What you get? Straight D. That's why our dad left. My fault. I'm sorry, mama. Damn, Andy. Fuck wrong with you. Andy, dude. You said you're at Carson's, right? You need to see this. Search up Roy Carson divorce on the internet right now. Huh? Roy, Roy this motherfucker got me some divorce. Roy Carson, co-founder of BN Media, claims to be receiving death threats from angry fans of his ex-wife. Ooh. Roy Carson, co-founder Blum. Damn. Hunter News. It's not usual for our audience to be nosy about some celebrities' personality Matt. Person. Damn. Damn. I can't read. <sighs> it's not. It's not unusual for audiences to be. Damn. It's not unusual for audience to be no. An audience. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Jack. I'm really. I'm going to take some reading classes. I promise. I'm going to do it for us together, so we could have a good time reading. It's not unusual for the damn. It's not unusual for audience to be nosy about some of the celebrities personal matters, but sometimes it's just too overbearing. We see something similar with the case of Roy Carson, the COO and co-founder of BN Media. After his very public breakup and divorce, that motherfucker, I see him. I follow him on IG. He was on IG with three model bitches. And he was like, yo, fuck you, bitch. I'm with these bad bitches. He was popping champagne. He was in between them. They was taking ass. He was in the middle of the ass like this, getting the ass. You know what I mean? It was crazy. Sources say Roy Carson has... Huh? 
Hein Hello <gasps> uh. That's pizza. I didn't order pizza. I definitely didn't order pizza. I'm good. I'm no one's home, sir. Oh my God. Do I got to go get him? What do I do? I'm not opening that door. Oh my God. Did I order pizza? Maybe I did. Let me check my phone. Sure didn't. Hello? He's not going to stop. Open. Who is it? Your delivery for your one medium size from Pizza de Depot, sir. Damn, I can't read. I didn't, I didn't order no delivery. Your one medium size pepperoni pizza, sir. You must got the wrong address. This is 224 Boulevard, right? Damn, that's correct. It's ordered by the name of, um, Roy Carson. Oh my God. Motherfucker, did you order Domino's? Please open a door, sir. Open. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my fucking God. Where'd he go? Hello? Close it. Run to the room. That was such a dumb idea. What the fuck? Oh my god, chat, y'all panicking for nothing. There's nothing wrong, bro. We're fine. I told you he, what he did. I opened the door. He took a step back because he was getting ready to hand it hot and ready. See, that's a pizza delivery car. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Hello? No. Nope. He's right there. Why don't I see him? Hello? Here. Thank you so much. Dot, dot, dot. Hey, this is a very strange request, but you think I could wait inside until the rain's over? You lost your f mind. Get back to your car, bro. Who asked that? It's probably not very safe to be out in the... I don't crash, bitch. I don't care. No. Oh, I understand. Well, have a good day. Yeah, fuck you. Go fuck yourself. I hope you trip and fall. Thought I could watch some TV while eating. Why? Oh my God. Look out for some pizzas. It should arrive any minute. Enjoy. Oh, what a nice guy. See, we're being dramatic. Eat that. Mmm. I'm good, thank you. <gasps> Turn the TV. Drop that. Stop eating so much. I don't see anyone. Can he stop eating? This fat bitch. I'm sorry. He's fucking his pizza up in my ear. I'm trying to listen for footsteps. All I hear is his fucking chin slapping together. No, I get it. Huh. I knew I heard a knock at the door. Oh my God. What is he doing? What pizza is he eating? I know he finished it already.
Oh, I see movement. <gasps> oh my god. I know he is still not eating that motherfucking pizza when there's someone in the back. Noah, please! Oh my god. Noah, 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 stop. Stop it. Oh my god, I hope it kills you now. I, I genuinely hope this bitch in the back kills you. I gotta get eyes on that girl. That shit was giving me anxiety. I felt like I was watching a mukbang with ASMR. I seen someone go over there. What is that? There's something at the door. I think they left something at the door. Flowers. I love flowers. Give me flowers, please. Dog, the dog. No, the dog. Dead dog at the door. The dog. What dog? Open. What the fuck is that? Flowers. I love flowers. They're so pretty. I didn't know what to make of it. Puppy? Puppy's okay. Unknown sender. Hey, how are you? What did you have for dinner? Oh, that's they got the wrong number for sure. Yeah, they for sure got the wrong number. They didn't get my shit. Nope. Mm-mm. Gotta catch up on this work. Yep. Love doing algebra. I hear a dog barking. 1.36 a.m. In the middle of my schoolwork, the power went out. Five text messages from unknown sender. Why do you keep ignoring me? Are you by yourself? You're being very immature right now. Fine. If you're going to be like that, I don't need you anyways. Todd is so much hotter anyways. Hello? Oh my god, I have fucking goosebumps. Is someone in the house? Oh my god. <gasps> I just see someone in the back. Oh my fucking god. Is the doggy okay? Oh my god. What do I do? I can't see anything. Holy shit. I hear a dog barking. Doggy? Dog? How do I hear it over here? Oh, the power. I turn the power right back on. Puppy. Are you okay? Pet. Good boy, good boy. It's okay. He was acting very weird. It's okay, good boy. Good puppy. <gasps> I 
I just heard a door open upstairs. Oh my fucking god. Unknown sender. You said we stay friends. Oh my god, I hear I hear something upstairs. Dude, I have chills. The dog's acting weird again. I'm not stuck in the house with her. She's stuck in the house with me. Grab a weapon. Can I grab a knife? Oh my god, I can't grab a knife. Grab a can opener. Who won it? This is what you want? I'm coming for you. I got a can opener, bitch. Hello? Yeah, she's scared. I know she's up here somewhere. I'm gonna poke you in the eye. I had to go back to... Oh, shit. It's okay, bro. I'm not scared of her. If she comes, I'm just gonna put her in a headlock and then hit her with the can opener. Do my schoolwork. I hear something creaking. Someone's in here. I had a strange feeling about the situation. Grossment. <gasps> I hear something to my right. Oh my God. <gasps> I heard something downstairs. Oh, shit. Look at that. Oh my fucking God. She looked kind of tall too. I'm not going to lie to you. Get up. Oh my God. Are they serious with the piano right now? Yeah. Give my theme music, bitch. I'm about to stab her. You better die. I'm coming for you. <gasps> Hello? Oh my God. Where is she? Loki made me uncomfortable knowing he was in the house. I, I need to get out of here. Holy shit. I had to confront him. I didn't have this. Oh shit. His contact. I could only ask Andy. Andy. Dude, you said you're out. What's it called? Can you send me Turner's contact? Ask him to quit messing. That is not Turner. He's messing with what? He's been snooping around the house. That is not cool. Oh, this guy's delusional. Dude, he's at my place right now. Oh my god. <gasps> oh fuck. We're gonna to go to the movies. Started pouring. Oh my god. The only logical thing I could think of was to keep the eye on the security monitor. I, I could think of something a little bit more logical. Running for your life. Now that I think about it, I could have just called the I should have just called the cops. But at the time I was so engrossed in my thoughts that the idea never entered my head. Well, it entered my head. I have a brilliant idea right now. Pick up a phone. Dial 911. Wait. There's a knife missing. Has there always been two? I swear there's been three. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Check the monitor. Oh, 
The back door's open. Oh my god. The back door. I hear someone run up the steps. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't like this at all. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Get up. Go. Somewhere here. Hide here. <gasps> Must sneak past her. Oh my god. Who's that girl trap? Oh my fucking god. That bitch tall as shit. If I check this, I'm gonna die. I know I'm gonna die. Rest in peace. Oh shit. She was right outside the room I was in. <gasps> I can't open your ass, bitch! I know everything. I know you left me for her. This is exactly why. At least she's not a junkie like you. It's different with her. Holy shit. This is deep. But I love you. What about that? You need to leave right now. <gasps> we deserve a second chance. You know I can turn you into the blade for this! Oh shit. Do it, and I will fucking kill both of you. Oh my god. the house and ran down the block i'm out my dad called the cops though by the time they arrived she already left but i knew where she lived kara was one of the first people i met on a dating site she was three years older than me but i found her cute so we started dating however two months into our relationship she started doing meth damn holy shit this is why i like these games chat based off of true stories creepy so creepy but like bro the stories is just so good what would you rate this chat out of 10 youtube if you're watching this how would you rate it out of 10 i love these bro episode three if you want to watch the other two episodes if you made it to the end feel free to check out the youtube channel we have part one and part two this was easy a 10 out of 10 so good.
Oh my god, that shit was 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. It's, I like those games because it's like the ambiance of it. You know what I mean? Scary games, they just throw in a bunch of jump scares and then boom, it's scary. You know what I mean? But that, it's based on a true story. You know what I mean? It's, it has like a spooky ambiance. It's so good, bro. It's 10 out of 10. Such a good adrenaline feeling. Yeah, it's so good. That's how you're supposed to do a scary game, bro. That's a true horror game. Yeah, I agree. Spooky. The tension buildup. Yup, everything, dude. Yo, if we have any new people in here that haven't seen episode one or two, check the YouTube. I'm going to put the links in chat right now, okay? Because those are fire. Hands down, my favorite scary games.